XA Developer TV, what is going on? My name is Kevin, AKA The Tech Ninja. Booyah! And today I'm talking about the Exposed Framework. What exactly is it? Who exactly uses it? And why you should know about it? Coming up next. <laughs> So what exactly is the Exposed Framework? Well, to make a tough definition even tougher, it's created by XDA developer Rovo89. It uses root on your Android device to allow you to make changes on the system level. So instead of downloading a ROM that has everything built into it, you can install individual modules that can give you ROM-like things. There's actually a module for the Halo effect, and there's also a module for transparent toolbar. So for people that love to eat like me, think about it this way. If you go to a restaurant, order a five course meal, instead of getting everything that comes with the, the steak and all the fixings, you can just pick out the steak if you want and you don't have to get all the fixings. Well, the exposed framework modules work the exact same way. They're individual package that you can pick and choose what exactly you run on your device. What I like to do is actually run stock, but install modules to give me a custom ROM experience without losing the core features of the ROM. So now you know exactly what it is, let's head over to our devices and get it installed. The first thing we need to do is download the exposed framework and this will be in a link below and then go ahead and install it. Once we have exposed framework installed, we now have a few options here. There's framework, modules, download, settings, and about. During this example, we're just gonna click on framework. Now at this point, all we need to do is press install. It's gonna run in the background and we need to actually allow super user permissions on it and then just press OK to this message and then reboot your device. Once your device is rebooted, we can now install different modules. In this example, I'm gonna install a simple module that does a lot of visual things to your device so we can see it easier. And this module is called XBlast Tools. So we're gonna to head to the XDA form and download XBlast Tools or you can get it straight for the market. And once we have it installed, we're gonna head over to modules, put a tick mark next to it. Now we do have to reboot our device for these modules to come and play. Once it's rebooted, we're gonna head back into XBlast and at this point, I'm just gonna make a few changes and I'm just gonna go really quick. The, the changes are just triggers. You go in there and say yes or no, tick a box or something like that. So right now I'm just gonna turn on a few of them just to show you guys how it actually works. Now, as I said before, this is just one example of it, and this is one that is more visual than performance-based. There's a lot of modules that are performance-based. I just want to show something very visual just so you can see it for this video. Now, once you make all the changes, go ahead and reboot one more time. And now once we're back into our phone, at the very bottom of our screen where it would say Verizon or T-Mobile, it now has custom text. Um, but also I changed the size too, it's a lot bigger. So if you have something really cool and custom that you wanna put down there, you can do that now. In the top right corner, the time is missing. Now I'm not sure why you'd want that, but this is just an example to show you that we can modify things even in the notification bar as well. And lastly, the last change I made was that I put my name in the very top of the notification bar and made the font larger as well. These are just some visual things that I made changes to so you can see the power of the exposed framework. All right guys, hopefully that was informative and fun. I just want to touch on the exposed framework just a little bit, but the rabbit hole gets a lot deeper. Um, so if you wanna do your research, go ahead and go for it. Hopefully you guys go out and install some modules to, to see how the exposed framework works. I've covered an application that used it before and uh, it's just, it's honestly a godsend. It's, it's one of the best programs out there or, or modifications out there for Android, period. All right, guys, go ahead and hit the like button and go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you are not subscribed. Every single day we have an awesome video for you. And then go ahead and check out my page. I'm The Tech Ninja. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to that one too. And that is it, folks. Take care. Bye. The HTC One is my friend.